All right, so we're moving on to a topic that I really love, and this was this week's theme was talking about the beauty of the routine, and not meaning the palms and the kicks and whatever, but the routine of working with your kids. And as I shared with you, my inspiration was the fact that a year ago we were dealing with Harvey, and we there was so much uncertainty, and it was so wonderful when we got back to the routine. So let's talk about the routine. I know your routine's off a little bit because Friday night lights are on Thursday night lights as we keep giggling about, but let's talk about the beauty of the routine of the things we put our teams through. Okay. And when you're, when you were talking about Harvey a second ago, really about a quarter of our team and our school flooded. And so when we did get to come back, start coming back from Mm -hmm. Harvey, the girls that were living it with friends or apartments or rent houses because they couldn't go back to their homes, getting back to the routine was so important to them. And um, I made a couple of practices optional when we first came back because I didn't want to pressure anybody to, to be back here if they weren't ready. Every single one of those girls that lost a home oh, was right. back here and came up to me and said, thank you. This is the first time that I haven't thought about my home and yeah, I'm we, tearing up just thinking no, about honestly, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, it, it it meant so much to them to get back into the routine of things, and they will say, and they they will tell you that it's one of the big reasons why they were able to do last year. Some of them graduate with honors because they had this to come back to, and they had this to look forward to, the routine of the day and practice in school to keep their minds occupied. Um, right. So for the kids, it's definitely been awesome, and as adults. We also go through things that um, are hard. Mm-hmm. And losing my friend Stacy this year, being back in the routine of all this has helped me tremendously. It's given me strength and it's given me something to look forward to. Stacy loved this job. I mean, she loved it. She lived it. She ate, slept, and slept and breathed it. Mm-hmm. And and I, I dedicated my year to her um, and coming back to the routine was not mundane to me. It was a blessing to be back here with my yeah. kids and um, the teachers and my friends and all the families that belong to, to our STARS team. Um, that routine is cherished and valuable and invaluable to anyone that is a right. part of what we do. Well, I'm going to let the tape just keep rolling because this was what I was thinking about. You know, now I'm a year out of it and uh, I get to do this. I get to run around and meet people. But I think that what you were going through with Stacy, and I didn't know Stacy, but you just touched my heart so much when you dedicated your year to her. It said, it spoke volumes to me because we forget, don't we? We forget how cherished our mentors are in this industry. I started this, you know, crazy world before social media and these kinds of things where you could stay in touch with people um, easily, even if it wasn't live, but we could, you know, find posts from each other. And so when I was thinking about, as I was driving over here, I was thinking about the mentors in my life and the close working relationships I had with other people in the industry, not just our students, but the adults. And uh, I feel confident, and um, we've kind of been teasing about that pretty picture of that girl she's going <laughs> to zoom in for you, uh-huh. that you and I share in common, but that relationship. So um, if it isn't too much on your heart, talk about how you build a relationship with a fellow professional. Well, um, gosh, I've been so blessed to work with a lot of people that have taught me things and let me teach them things. And um, when Stacy and I worked together, we started out peers because we had gone to college together. Um, but Stacy had a huge leg up on me in the drill team world because she had been on a drill team at Lanier High School. She was a famous Kilgore College. Yes, pilot. beautiful kids. And so when I got to the high school to work with her, I was just willing to just learn everything and anything I could about high kick. I mean, like I, high kick's one of my favorite things to choreograph. And it's not, I don't do just like the rote, just everybody's like, oh, high kick's the easiest thing to choreograph. And I don't think it is because I'm always trying to make it interesting because she, Stacy, loved to make her kicks interesting and footwork. And, and musicality, yes, musicality, musicality, absolutely. And so, um, She taught me so much, but she also let me teach her things as well when we worked together. She was not a confident speaker or confident talking to parents. And so she's like, can you please call that parent and let me listen to how you deal with the situation and then I'll be able to learn that. There's the bell. (laughs) It'll 
stop going in a second. Um, so for sure that peer relationship was very invaluable to me. And then coming here to Cinco, where Christine had already been here a couple of years and it was her third year of teaching when I got here and gosh, she knows so much. She's young um, and I think at the beginning, maybe a little bit underestimated, but she is a powerhouse. I mean, she does not, she will, she will discipline kids. She will talk I to kids. I don't parents. know where she got that from. I don't either. <laughs> but she, she's not afraid to stand up for what's right, to help the kids learn valuable lessons. And she is an amazing choreographer. Um, you know, when we got here, you never know that you're going to be friends with someone. Stacy and I were already friends when we started working together and kept that relationship. But Christine and I were not friends when we started. And now, I mean, she's my family. And I think she would say the same thing about me. Um, we can't go, you know, a couple of days without talking or um, hanging out at least once a week. If it's twice a week is a stretch. Because um, we rely on each other for a lot. So let's bring this around to, because there's a lot of people that, you know, when I started out, nobody had an assistant. You know, it was just you, yourself, and the people at the other school. And now I feel like you've had very healthy relationships with your assistants. I love trolling you and Holly on Facebook. And <laughs> a there's a lot of bombshell blonde going on in this <laughs> office, and I'm glad to be part of it today. So if you had advice to give to someone, a pair, uh, you know, a director, assistant director, a team director, situation. You had a, one solid piece of advice to give to them to keep their working relationship uh, healthy and evolving. What would it be? Uh, don't be afraid to let someone else be better than you at something. Because, wow, that's fabulous. Um, I, I have my strengths and I have things that I'm good at. But for example, Holly, when we work together, Holly is an amazing organizational person. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you looked at her desk versus my desk, you would see she keeps us on track. I can I can text her at any moment and say, what date is that game on now? And she will know exactly. She's also amazing at setting forms, and I am not a form person. She can she can figure it out and help put it on the field, um, but she does a lot of other things besides that. But I'm not afraid to go to her and say, Holly, I cannot do this form. Can you please do it? I wasn't afraid to go to Christine, even though I had been teaching for 13 years and it was just her second to ask her to choreograph things that I knew she was going to be better at than me. Capitalize on your partner's strengths and your team will be unstoppable. All right, so now this is the heart moment. So um, I'm big in living legacy. So, and if you tear up, I'll tear up right along with you. So what is Stacy's living legacy in you? Oh gosh. Because there's gonna be a lot of people who I love and adore her and so they're gonna wanna hear this, so I'll let you think for a minute, there, but there are so many things that that Stacy taught us all through her illness and so touching on her illness, I will say that her tenacity and she did not give up. I mean, I think Stacy thought that she was going to be healed and believed that she was going to be healed right up until the last minute. Right. And um and we all believed it too because because we, she believed in herself and miracles. And um, so never giving up is the legacy that I think she left when she did leave us. Mm -hmm. But while she was alive, it was enjoying what we do. And Absolutely. she enjoyed her family very much. Her team, though, was just, uh, it was such a huge part of her life. She, she would not miss a practice. She would not miss a game. She showed up 30 minutes early before everybody else got to practice. So I think just um, the legacy of loving this is what she gave me. Well, that's certainly where my heart is, too. That was beautifully stated. 